Welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. I gotta say, this story has me pissed off. I have no other way to describe it. It's getting to a point that I don't even understand this country anymore, and I don't even know if I want to anymore. I have fought for years on this channel for equality and for people just to be treated fairly. And that, and I've said many times that police need to have better training. This story right here shows you, without a doubt, how bad police are trained in this country. And how they, they make assumptions. They don't care about the law, and they don't care about who they hurt. The one we see in the picture here is DeAndre Hawk, um, Hawkins, I believe her name is. Um, I'm sorry if I got that first name wrong. But she and her family had been running errands, apparently. Did some laundry. One of them had to go to the bathroom. They went in the bat. One of them went in the bathroom. I think the other stayed out in the car. And the next thing you know, there are officers surrounding them, guns drawn, and taking Miss Hawkins here in to custody. Her crime? She didn't commit one. But their car looked suspicious. It looked like a car that had been used in an armed robbery. The thing is, the people in this car did not match the description of the assailant. The person they were looking for was tall and slender. Now, from everything I've read, that did not match the description of the people in the car. Miss Hawkins is a mother of three. One of her children is autistic and was in the car with them, along with her one of her daughters. Now, I don't know if all three kids were in the car, but I do know that an autistic son was in the car, and that her daughter was on scene. I believe her daughter was the one that had to go to the bathroom. I don't remember. All I know, from what I've read, is that the child had a gun in her face. And so did the autistic kid. One of her sons was thrown to the ground at some point, was put on the ground by police. Her daughter, after being told a few times by her mother, please stay where you are, you know, stay over there, stay over there. The daughter was still worried about their mother. So the daughter went over to her, to her mom. And instead of peacefully moving the daughter out of the way or, you know, requesting her to move or whatever, not to get closer, you know, the other, an officer grabs her by the shirt, slings her out of the view of the camera that was recorded by a UPS man. And no child should be having their hand, having adult hands laid on them like that. Especially for just being concerned about their parent who had done nothing wrong. Now, I know many of you out there are going to say, well... You know, he didn't know if she had a weapon or anything. Like, well, if he didn't know she had a weapon or anything, why would he have gotten so close to manhandle her like that? I hope Miss Hopkins ends up being able to sue this, this police department. Because that police department deserves to lose its, its money. The city should defund it. Now, I don't think you should defund all police departments. I'm sure there are some police departments that do a really good job. But this one, this one needs to have its funding reduced. Either that, or it needs more funding spent on training. 
Because just because a car matches a description doesn't mean the people in the car match the assailant. Now, I can understand a cop walking up and checking, right? Maybe getting them out of the car or whatever. I can, I can see that. I, I can almost understand that. Because you, you are expected to follow up and check and see, you know, what's going on. I get that. But when you walk up to the car, or you see the woman emerge from the car, and you realize, oh, we're looking for somebody that's tall and slender, and this person isn't tall. Oh, wait, there's kids in the car. We didn't hear nothing about kids in the car. How about at that point you stop what you're doing and think for a second? Hey, wait, this isn't right. We've got the wrong people. But instead of trying to admit to themselves that they had done something wrong, they just double down with it, even though they know they're wrong. There's no other explanation. There is no other explanation for how a woman who is not tall and slender is confused for a tall and slender, from what I've read, male. Police officers definitely need better training. This is absolutely repulsive, what I'm seeing. They keep saying that police officers need higher pay. Well, how about they get better trained first? Because I have to ask the question, would this have happened if it was a white family? In the same situation? The answer is probably not. In actuality, these officers would have probably seen, oh, it's a woman not a male, she's not tall, or she's not slender, she doesn't match the description, sorry for bothering you. That's what they would have said, right? Sorry for bothering you. Have a good day, ma'am. But for Ms. Hop uh, Hawkins, she had to be handcuffed and humiliated in public for these officers' enjoyment until they decided that they were wrong or they decided they could admit they're wrong. I don't understand where this country is going. I thought maybe we'd make some improvements. I thought maybe this country would finally start healing its racist divide. Unfortunately, I was wrong. I don't guess we're ever going to get past this shit. So let me have a, let's make a rundown here. Driving while black is a crime. Walking while black is a crime. Eating ice cream in your own home is a crime. Visiting your cousin is a crime. Visiting a friend is a crime. Now going to the restroom is a crime if you're black. You can't tell me this is right. You can't tell me this is fair and there is no way you can convince me otherwise. You cannot convince me that this is okay. You cannot convince me that these officers do not deserve to lose their jobs. Not only did they, you know, harass this woman and wrongly detain her for something she had nothing to do with. Right? They terrorized this family. They placed, one of them placed hands on a child and not one of them stepped up and said, no, don't do that. Stop what you're doing.
Now, I'm not one to advocate violence, but I'm surprised somebody didn't step up and punch that man in the face. Touching a child like that. I swear to God, some of these officers think that they are above the law. They can do whatever the hell they please. But the police in that area, some of them need to lose their jobs. Everybody involved in that scene needs to be fired. Period. I don't care about your union. I don't care about your rules. I don't care about your investigation. I don't care about anything. I care that all of the officers involved on that scene need to lose their jobs. Period. Not only did they allow for the terrorizing of a family, they allowed one of their brethren to physically place their hands on a child. Anyways, this has been the Big Brand Show. Thank you for watching. And good luck.